ground the scissors. It is the day of the eclipse. Many of you probably are like us and were not able to get the eclipse glasses and could not find welder's goggles with the level 14 shades. So we're going to show you very quickly how to make your own pinhole box projector safety thingy. Get a box. This is the fundamental concept of the box pinhole projector. Your head is to the sun. You're going to be staring at the reflection in the box, sun coming from behind you. So there is never any risk of looking at the sun and burning your retina with the photochemical burn. Okay, let's start. Yes. Okay. So, Daddy, yeah. you cut this. You cut the flap off. Then, you cut the two side, two side flaps. Make sure you don't do any irreparable cutting. Where it is hurts. my electrical tape? Wow, this cardboard box is harder than I thought. Who are you talking to? Myself. Oh, yes. You realize that nobody can see you, right? Here. This is impossible. Woo! Oh, my nearly own. <laughs> okay, so. Let's see, it's this, not very this, needed, this needed the panel here. You cut the hole in the back. This is where your head is going to look in through, like, like this. This is where your head section faces. Your front faces in, sun to the back. We're going to tape this box closed. We have to cut a little viewing section right here. Okay, like this. Oh. Always cut the knife towards you is what I read is number one safety tip. You view it through here. You put the tin foil here so that the sun beams in. And oh, you... the sun's in the sky! I know, that's why you're looking at it like this. You can actually rotate to see where the sun is. Do you see? Oh, God, my face! You have your head hole where you look in. This is going to be the tin foil part. <laughs> no faith. Wow, we should have just made the glasses. Get out of your mouth and get out of here. This is where we put the pinhole. With a knife. Yeah. Use a pin, everybody. Use a pin. It's much better if you use a pin. That's too big. It's not too big. It might be too big. Okay, so this is it. Now that you have the hole, everything should be good. You take a blank piece of paper, a white piece of paper, put it inside on the opposite side of where you put the hole in the tin foil. This is what the You're eclipse is going to project on top of. You have to take it down. I know we're going to take it down. But this is what the eclipse is going to project on coming through your pinhole in the aluminum. <laughs> you have to block the light that would otherwise be coming from the front of the box. Oh, so yeah, this, you have to tape it yeah, this here. crack here and this crack here. here. You see the side? The side's not so important, but yeah, this, it's definitely clear. this line running down the middle. Oh, down here. Okay, now we're gonna Wait. go outside and give this thing a field test. But this is it. This hideous monstrosity. Let's go see what it looks like. Daddy, you didn't tape it. Tape what? The paper. Yeah, just. Okay, so having looked through it, now we can see that there's some light coming in from the bottom cracked corners, bottom quarters. Everything seems to work well. Our mistake was this pinhole is not a pinhole, it's actually just like a stab wound. Too big, so we're going to cover it up with a little tape and make a new pinhole. But because I can't find any pins, we're going to make a little staple. Here. That looks like it's going to be too small, though. Field test! Outside. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. It is a smashing success, but just so that your hopes and dreams are not shattered when you see what it is, basically all you're going to see from the inside on the projector is a white circle with sort of like a dark half moon overtaking it as the moon comes in front of the sun, but it's just blocking the light. You don't actually see like sunspots, you don't see the sun itself, but you can see the sun itself with your own eyes if you don't want to see properly for the rest of your life. So don't look at the sun. <laughs>